Hey everybody, this is Robot, Alan Robot Famer, rather, for guitarbots.com. And we're gonna we're gonna be working on some cool stuff with sequences. Now the cool thing about sequences is that you find them a lot in music, all again, all genres of music, you're gonna be using this stuff. Um, so it's just like the interval type exercises that you'll be doing as well. <clears throat> there's a lot of variations that you're gonna be playing. And there's some variations to this stuff as well, um, especially with the as well as the rhythm. You'll be doing some rhythmic variations of how you're phrasing things out because that's very important, especially with these sequences you're going to be actually using a lot of. And that one I ran there, just... That's one, two, three, one, two, three. You just set a three, writing down. Now, the cool thing about this, again, with the rhythm, instead of going bum, 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 two, right? You could go four, or sorry. So you're changing your rhythm up, but you're still doing the same sort of pattern. Um, and again, that makes it sound so much cooler, so much more musical. And I, I can't express that enough. Deviate your rhythm, even if you do it halfway between a lick. If you're going, like, right? I love doing that stuff. It makes my music more interesting. It makes it more fun for me and more challenging. Definitely at this point, it's a, it's a lot of stuff to take on by doing that. But of course, it's going to make you a lot better. So with the sequences, it's standard stuff you've probably seen a little bit of before, but have you really practiced it? Have you really gone through all of it, and now you could prove it to yourself, yes or no? Can I, or can't I actually do this stuff? So you want to go with the same thing, same general region of the guitar. We're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, 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 all those, and then reverse. The reverses are really hard because you get some weird skips and rolls. So if you're not used to doing that, it's going to be challenging. It's something like this. So you go one, two, three, one, two, three, reverse of that, uh, or reverse every other, so it's going to be... Right, so you start doing those, and it gets tricky, and all of a sudden you're, you're noticing there's there's some patterns and sequences you really haven't messed with enough before, possibly, and this will certainly help. So anyway, yeah, you're going to do a couple different variations. I forget how many I have, but I know there's a lot of them. Stuff like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And don't forget the fours. changes the dynamic, the feel of it, the accents are different sometimes. If you actually accent, it'll, it'll make it different, um, which is fun. It's a lot of fun to try that stuff out. But um, that's the fours and threes, and then we have sets of five, I believe. Which are difficult. A lot of times you'll use fives in the pentatonic um, version of the major scale. Stuff like, let me see what we would do. So of course do it in the major scale um, and you get a lot of cool sound major and minor obviously same thing which is just the pentatonic with the two extra notes pentatonic skips but anyway um, so those are the fives and I believe we did six right uh, I don't think we did seven but that's that's tough you can do those sets of eight. I probably do. If not, um, it's obviously just two four double. That's basically sets of eight. You don't play too, too often in actual music, but it's good to learn the fretboard when you do those. And it is good for the skip at the end of each one of them, depending on how you're doing the exercise. Um, so that's the sequences. And again, it doesn't have to just be the stuff that I'm showing. Going. I'm just giving you the primary foundation. A sequence could be any set of a, of a lick. You can move around. You can go... Cool. But 
have fun doing those uh, sequence exercises on here. Um, try to keep it accurate and musical and have fun doing it. Don't go crazy and want to smash your hand like that angry guitar player I've seen on the internet that makes me laugh so hard. He goes, do, 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 do. Ah! And he starts attacking his own hand. I actually, secretly, I used, I used to actually do that, but don't tell anybody. I used to get mad just like him. Um, so have fun, and I'll see you in the next tip video.